I look dead. Oh my god. Is it just the lighting? Or do I really look that bad? Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. I look so scary right now. I'm at my mom's house right now because I am going to go get a wax soon. I'm in my grandmother's room now because the lighting is just terrible everywhere else. Um, I'm going to go get a wax soon and so my mom's going to watch Lily while I go and do that. So, um... That's kind of like all I have planned for today. I thought that my Accio box came in for December, which would have been super, super early, so I don't know why I thought that, but it was actually just the box from my last one. I just hadn't, like, recycled it yet, so it's not here. But I'm actually really excited for... I'm just gonna, like, go into every room until I can get good lighting. I am actually really excited for the December Accio box because the last two, as you guys know, have been like not the best in my opinion. I am so pale and pasty. I can't like put makeup on because I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. And man, this is not a good look. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for the December Accio box because the theme is cozy. They're not doing a Christmas theme, which is really good because some people don't celebrate Christmas, so it would be hard to, like, make everyone happy. But, um, they are... Their theme is cozy, and one of the spoilers... I already saw it. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but I saw a spoiler, and I'm so excited for this item. OMG. While I'm in my parents' room, can we just look at this little baby right here that's me totally does look like lily i feel like she looks a lot like me when i was a baby but she's also starting to look a lot like jonathan she's just a nice blend she's currently sleeping in the harry potter room so let's just take a peek at this little bundle how cute is that she is just the cutest in the entire world. Okay guys, so I don't have anything else to really film today because I didn't do anything. So for the rest of this vlogmas, I am just going to do a little tree tour. I'm all done with my Harry Potter tree. The only thing that's missing is a skirt, but I'm not going out to the store right now to go buy a skirt. So I'm gonna show you guys the tree and um, hopefully you enjoy this. This is my Harry Potter Christmas tree. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and tell you guys some of the stuff that I did. So first of all, I did the ribbon, as you guys saw yesterday. That was a shit show. Uh, not really fun to do, but I think it turned out pretty well. So we have all the house colors. We have Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and then we have a Gryffindor on this side. So all four houses are represented on the tree. And then I also did all four house um, color ornaments, so they're just like spread out throughout. And then I have all my Harry Potter ornaments, so I have a bunch of like these little guys with the characters. Got all those last year. I have some stuff that I added this year like this. I'm pretty sure this is from Accio Box this year, um, but it's a lantern like the one that Hagrid holds. And then we have our little Niffler right here. I put my chocolate frog box right here. Like, I don't know, I had it in my room and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna add it. That's the kind of cool thing about like Harry Potter items is like you can just kind of throw them on the tree and it'll work. Um, some of these ornaments are like little things that I made last year. I made these golden snitches last year along with these head wigs. Um, I think I have a video of me. No, I don't have a video of me making them. I thought I did. 
Um, and then like I have my friend Connor made me this. It's a little Hogwarts acceptance letter and an ornament. And then this one is my absolute favorite one right here. It's a howler in an ornament, so cute. And then I put the um, Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters ticket on here. Also just another item that I just had and I was like, I'm just gonna throw it on the tree. Um, and then obviously I have the sorting hat up top there. And then I have all these extra wands from our wedding. They were our wedding favors. Um, as you can see, I just kind of like stuck them around the tree. So it just kind of like gives the tree some more dimension like sticking out. So I did three on each side. You can kind of see them sticking out on the corners. Um, just like that. And then, yeah, I just have some like classic Hallmark ornaments as well. So I love this one with Hagrid and Harry. And then I think I have another one over here. Yeah, I do. So this one right here is McGonagall putting the sorting hat on Harry. And then I have this one of Harry and Voldemort. I actually really like, I'm not in love with this ornament. It's just kind of like bulky and intense. And so I put it in the back of the tree because it's just not like aesthetically pleasing to me, like the way it looks. And there's some like gaps and stuff in the back because I never really go crazy at the back of a Christmas tree because I mean, who cares? I feel like it turned out really cute. Like the ribbon is still not my favorite. I feel like I can come in here and mess with it every time I look at it because it's just not perfect. And if you're like a perfectionist, like especially with visuals, I don't recommend doing ribbon because I feel like it's never going to look perfect. Um, but Jonathan thinks it looks really good. I like the color that it adds to it, to the tree, so it doesn't just look just like so bushy and green. If this was a flocked tree, it'd probably look even prettier, honestly. Um, and I would love to do that because it would give it more of like a Hogsmeade feel if it was like snow. But it's a fake tree, so I bought it like this. Anyways, this is my Harry Potter tree. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Right, guys that's all i have for you i hope you guys enjoyed today i know it really wasn't like much of a vlogmas but i didn't do anything so you weren't missing out thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye